Welcome to Movie Caps. Today, I will show you an action and adventure motor racing film from 2008, titled, Speed Racer. Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. Speed Racer is a little boy, who is obsessed with car racing. He does not take interest in his studies, or any other activity but racing. He idealizes his elder brother Rex, who is a professional racer, and often asks him to take him to the racing track with him. As soon as he turns 18, he starts to participate in races, but a lot has happened in all these years. His supporters include his father, whom they call Pops, his mom, little brother Sprittle, their pet monkey Chim Chim, mechanic Sparky, and his childhood girlfriend, Trixie. A flashback to his childhood shows one day as he brings Trixie home, to show his father's car collection, someone tries to attack them with a bomb and a gift box, but Rex discards it right before the explosion. After a few days, Rex informs him about leaving home. He gives him the keys to his racing car March 5, and asks him not to believe people, who might say bad things about him. After packing up his stuff, he comes outside and tells his father about quitting the race. Pops insists on him to stay, but he does not listen to him, and leaves while saying he wants to live his life as he wants. Speed hears the news, informing that Rex has taken an illegal move during a race, and been disqualified. Everyone starts talking about him and his case goes under review. Just a few days later, Rex dies in a car crash during Casa Cristo, a dangerous cross-country rally. At present, as Speed is considered a rising talent in racing, many fixers and sponsors start going after him. One day as they all gather up at the dining table for breakfast, E. P. Royalton, the owner of Royalton Industries, shows up with an amazing offer. He offers him to race with him, in return for a lot of money, fame, and a luxurious lifestyle, but Pops tells him they always compete as independent racers. After seeing them confused, he invites them to his car manufacturing industry, and shows that they have the fastest working mechanism, and can make a car in only 36 hours. He also takes them on a tour to his training area, where their drivers are trained to cope with the challenges of racing. He introduces Speed to another great racer Cannonball Taylor, and Speed gets overwhelmed as he admires his racing skills. He also asks him to join the team, saying that Speed hasn't made his decision yet. Royalton talks to Pops trying to convince him, but he leaves the decision to Speed, and tells him that he would stand by him no matter what he chooses to do. Speed tells Royalton that he is impressed by his offer, and will think about accepting it soon. Meanwhile, another racer Taeho is being tortured by a gang in a truck, when they are chased by a racer, with his face covered with a mask. He saves Taeho, and tells him that if he wants to fight against them, he must take someone's help, but he refuses to take it. While discussing the offer with each other, Trixie asks about his plan, and he informs her that he is thinking about joining Royalton, as they have one of the best teams, who have won many titles. Although he never cared about winning or losing, he thinks it's important to consider if he wants to keep racing. Speed meets Royalton, who assures him that if he accepts the deal, it will change the future of his family. Speed tells him, it's not an easy decision for him or his father, as racing is everything for them. Although they have suffered a great loss after Rex died, but they cannot give up on racing, as it runs in their blood. He tells him, that Pops considers racing as a religion, and does not believe in getting involved with any kind of corporation, so he cannot accept the offer. Royalton gets upset to hear this, and furiously tells him, that Grand Prix is always fixed by the corporations to gain profits. He tells him it's not just about the racing, but everyone is more concerned about power and the money. He once again offers the lucrative deal, but Speed refuses to take it and leaves. Enraged by his rejection, Royalton makes one of his drivers crash Speed's car during a race, and he loses his favorite March 6 after a collision. Just after the race, Pops receives a court order, informing that he and his company Motor Racers, has been charged with intellectual property infringement. Speed remembers Royalton's threats, and discovers he is the one behind all this mess. He tells Mom, that it's happening because he refused to sign a deal with him, and Royalton was right, that the racing is just about power and the money. After finding him upset, she reminds him of Rex, and says she and Pops are proud of both of them. She assures him they will figure things out, and they just need to stick together. The next day, a masked man famous with the name Racer X, appears on their doorstep with Inspector Detector, head of an intelligence agency's corporate crime division. He informs that Racer Taeho Togokan has evidence that can indict Royalton, but he will give it to them, only if Speed and Racer X joins his team, to race in the upcoming Casa Cristo rally, to help raise the stock prices of his family's racing business. Speed's parents get upset after hearing about the rally, as they lost Rex in the same. Pops refuses to let Speed compete, 
and says he already lost one of his sons, and cannot bear the same loss again. Detector requests him to think about it, and inform him later, but Pops refuses the offer again. Speed informs Trixie that he is planning to join Taeho's team, but without letting Pops know, because he knows he will never allow him to go. He tells her that he wants to participate in racing to defeat Royalton, as he is trying to mess with his family. Although hesitant, she supports his decision, and intends to go with him. He meets Detector again, who admires his decision of joining them, but he reveals he is only doing it for his family, because he wants Royalton to pay back for what he did to them. They brief him about the rally and the different tactics used by drivers. He is informed that many drivers use secret weapons and tools, to get a lead over others, so he needs to be vigilant during the race. Taeya's sister, Haruko talks to him about using speed for their own purpose, but he says he has no other choice. As the rally starts, Sprittle spots his car in the race, and tells Pops about him. Meanwhile, many drivers are paid by Fixer Cruncher Block to beat speed in the race. At the end of the first day, another team gets the lead. Taeho gets angry with Speed and Racer X, but they assure him they will make a comeback the next day. As he goes outside, Speed says to Racer X that they made a good team, and he felt like they had known each other for a long time. Speed seems a little confused about him, but he does not pay much attention to him. Speed talks to Trixie about him, and reveals both knew about each other's next moves. He feels so familiar that Speed thinks he might be his brother Rex. She does not believe him as they buried him after the crash, but Speed thinks it's possible, because they could not recognize the body, as it was completely burnt after the crash. As they talk to each other, Speed is informed about his family's arrival. Pops expresses his anger with him, for not taking his permission before joining the race, but Speed tells him he wants to make things right for his family, as he thinks he is responsible for their troubles. He does not agree with him, and asks him to go back home with them, but Speed refuses to go and gets into an argument, but Mom intervenes and asks him to finish the race, so they can go home together. Pops asks about March 5, and Speed tells him they made some modifications. At night, their team is attacked by ninjas who administer a drug to Taeho. They try to do the same to Speed, but he and his family fight against them forcing them to run away. They gather in Taeho's room to discuss the situation, as he is not able to drive anymore. Trixie steps up and drives the car in Taeho's place, and they get the initial lead. While passing through a pass, they are attacked by Cruncher and his men, but they manage to fight back and they are arrested by Detector. The race resumes again, and Speed wins, after surprising everyone with his unbelievable skills. As they stand at the victory stand, Racer X informs Taeho that they have done their part of the job, and it's his turn now. Soon, they find out Taeho has used them to raise his business's stock prices, to benefit from Royalton's buyouts. Frustrated by the truth, Speed hit the track where he used to go with Rex. Soon Racer X arrives as well and gives him a quick challenge. After the race he admires him, but Speed confronts him, asking him to accept that he is actually Rex. He removes his mask, and Speed gets disappointed to see that he is someone else, and he tells him that Rex actually died in the car crash. He says his brother will be proud of him, because he tried to make a change. Speed says it does not make any difference, and his brother died for nothing, because racing will never change. Racer X advises him to keep his true self alive, and that's all that matters. Speed asks if he is not going to make any difference, then why should he continue racing, but he tells him he has to figure out the reason by himself. Speed packs his stuff and intends to leave, but Pop stops him by revealing he is proud of him, because he did whatever he thought was right. He confesses, that he is guilty of preferring his company over Rex, and still regrets his mistake. As they talk, Haruko shows up and apologizes for what they did to them. She gives him Taeho's rejected invitation to the Grand Prix, and asks him to compete. The entire family comes together, and builds a racing car in just 32 hours. Meanwhile, Taeho has joined hands with Royalton and his partners. Speed arrives at the Grand Prix with his family, and asks for permission to join. Detector informs the official that Speed has the invitation, and if they deny his request to participate, the race will be suspended until the complete investigation. Officials are left with no other choice but to let him race. After finding no other way, Royalton announces a $1 million bounty for the driver who takes him off the track. Drivers are eager to collect the prize, and try their best to beat him, but he manages to get a lead and races head-to-head -head with Royalton's driver, Cannonball Tyler. As he gets closer, Tyler uses a device called a spear hook, to clasp his car with March 5. Speed finds out about it, and uses his jump jacks to expose the device to cameras, causing Tyler's car to crash. He does not only expose Royalton's cheating, but wins the race with a great margin. 
As everyone gathers around him congratulating him on the win, Racer X happily watches him. Detector asks whether he is going to meet him or not. It is revealed that he is actually Rex, who faked his death in a car crash, and underwent plastic surgery so no one recognizes him. He decides not to tell the truth, because they have learned to live without him. Speed's family rushes to him, expressing their happiness over his victory, and he kisses Trixie. Taeho testifies against Royalton, and he is incarcerated due to his crimes. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.